Fate continues of a proposed expansion of a landfill dubbed Mount Trashmore. The city of Coconut Creek holding an emergency meeting today. Local 10's Andrew Perez is joining us live now from Coconut Creek with the latest on the fiery debate. Andrew. Yeah. There's a really big county commission meeting that is happening tomorrow. And what is expected tomorrow has been described to me as a battle. That city leaders and city residents are going to battle tomorrow. They've even organized transportation to get residents over to that meeting. It's the burden of buildup, an expanding eyesore that's got residents and city leaders talking tough, talking trash. There is a limit to this. The words I want to say to them, I can't say on camera, but shame on them. Come Tuesday, county commissioners will consider a request to expand the Monarch Hill landfill, both vertically and horizontally. WM says it needs space. Residents and city leaders in Pompano Beach, Deerfield, and Coconut Creek are outraged. We have a landfill that opened unregulated ultimately that has just grown and grown and grown after promises to close and close and close it. Hours ahead of the big county commission meeting, Coconut Creek held a special meeting to discuss a last minute offer from the landfill owner, WM. It would have amended their existing 2015 agreement, a set of financial and environmental incentives promised. It was a unanimous no, though, preparing for a fight at County Hall. I say we're in elementary school and waste management is the bully that takes your lunch money every single day. And eventually, you're going to start giving it to the bully. The city doesn't do that. We've been fighting together as an ally, and I think waste management's position has been to try to divide and conquer, and they were almost successful today. Deerfield's mayor has long opposed waste management looking to grow an additional 10 stories up and some 24 acres out on the site where they took down a waste to energy plant this year. WM says they have six years lifespan left as is. Most of the material at that landfill is construction and bulk waste. If you look at the long-term ramifications of what this does uh, for the quality of life of our residents, Pompano's residents, Coconut Creek's residents, it's a huge detriment to them. There are so many moving parts to this story. There's a lot of passion, a lot of fire on both sides. We've got so much more information exactly what is being proposed here, what is expected tomorrow as well on our website, local10.com. Of course, we'll also let you know what happens at that meeting. That's the latest here in Coconut Creek, though. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.